Minnesota. Morris finds Kuzma. And he was camped in the lane there and gets a three-second call. And we have to take another look at that block. I mean, letting them know up front that he's on the hunt tonight and eager to knock away shots. I love it. And here are the Nets now. They've gone on a 13-0 run. Here's Morgan. Harden pulls it in. I'll tell you, everything went right in terms of execution. He just can't get it to go. Kuzma up top. The kick out to Barton. Pass to Beal. Morris outside. Six on the shot clock. Back to Beal. The three ball. He buries it from three. Bradley Beal may be the premier off guard in our league and off a clean pass, turn the lights out. That's going down. Now here's Durant. He's coming off a 10-point game against Orlando. And he also made an impact at the defensive end, blocking two shots and contesting others. Here's Morgan. Eight-point game. Off target from outside. And they're on the run. Here's Barton. And he goes in for the dunk. The best way to get a clean look is with those quick hitters on the break. What a beautiful fast break opportunity and the finish pretty good. Here's Morgan. He's guarded by Barton. Laid it in with a nice touch off the window. He's got 13. His arrow's been trending up as of late, and he's been magnificent tonight. Morris passes to Barton. That's tipped. Irving for three. They get it back. Here's Durant. Count it. One for one to start the game. Getting out to a nice lead. Great flow and great execution. Here's Morris. Deflected. Here's Morgan. Hits the trifecta. All right, well, a look at how the hustle game has been going for the Nets. Well, so far, they've been immensely aggressive on the defensive side, denying easy shots, and it's made a difference in the game. And the other thing that's working for them tonight, getting out into the open floor, a lot of the damage coming in transition. Now here's Kuzma. And in that win against the Timberwolves, he was a major factor as well. Four on the clock. Here's Beal. And Durant with the block. And they turn it over. Shot clock violation is the buzzer sound. Gafford, he's checked in for Washington. Back to Irving. Out of bounds. Nets ball as Brooklyn keeps possession. T.J. Warren, he's checked in for Brooklyn. And the Wizards making a change here as well. Avdia, he's checked in for Kuzma. Here's Morgan. Oh, it's blocked by Porzingis. Seven foot six wingspan sending it. Well, the trio of KD, Kyrie, and Harden Doris. They played just 16 games together when it was all said and done. Just so frustrating for a Nets organization that had positioned itself to acquire that talent. But this is a real lesson about success in the NBA. You have to maximize your windows and take nothing for granted because, boy, do things change quickly. It's KD at power forward and Claxton at center. Patrick Mills out there with Kyrie Irving. And it's Morgan in at the three. A small forward. That's the Nets five as we get into the second quarter one time Irving no good on the free throw you know, one thing Kyrie Irving has talked about is reclaiming his power, Grant. Well, he has stopped listening to the outside voices telling him what to do, finding his own purpose and his identity. And at times, that's meant being something of a renegade. Brooklyn has gone four of six from three-point range thus far. Inside. Oh, a 
Oh, two-handed power slam from Miller. Howdy Mills is about winning, guys, and if that means finding the open man, he'll do just that. Well, the Wizards shooting an unimpressive 30% in this game so far. Pass to Barton. Now here's Morris. It's deflected. Nice rebound. Trying to match the other team's intensity right now. Morgan. Porzingis grabs the board. Porzingis has got four rebounds in the game. Tipped away. Here's Irving. That bucket makes him three for five. Well, Patty Mills has proven to be a very capable scorer, but he can also be an outstanding passer. And that replay showed how sensational that drive truly was. The yeah, talent is one thing, but it's about the want to. A big, but not settling. Continue to press the attack. Good execution. They're getting some short-range looks here. To the middle. Here's Mills. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Think back to the 2020 games in Tokyo, guys. Patty Mills leading Australia to the bronze medal. The first medal ever for men's basketball. A huge moment for the country. Patty Mills at those Tokyo games. He was devastating at the international level doors. Oh, guys, he led the entire tournament in scoring. He averaged more than Kevin Durant did with the USA team, and Kevin was fabulous. But Mills was absolutely the man for Australia. Showed up on a big stage. Patty doing work. First one falls for him. You know, the point forward is an archetype that by now fans are familiar with. Grant, you were one of the OGs at the point forward. How's that position evolved in your mind? Well, it's evolved because so many players today have the skill set to be a point forward. Before me, there were guys like Paul Pressey and Scottie Pippen in the 80s and early 90s. But as I said, players today, the skill level is so elite. And with this positionless basketball that we're in, you must have a point forward or two on your team to be successful. How about this, Doris? The Wizards haven't been to the conference finals since 1979. Unreal. That's exactly right, B.A., and it gives you some sense of how tough it is to be successful in the NBA. Because it's not that long ago that their backcourt consisted of John Wall and Bradley Beal. Many at the time considered it one of the most dangerous in the league and thought they would be here for over a decade. It does show you how hard sustained success is in the NBA. off well with all the trade requests over the last year the Nets started to seem like a sinking ship but with KD still on board a chance to stay on course he's invested so much in this team I'm glad to see him remain in Brooklyn good on the second one you know the Wizards really came up short last season on the defensive end they consistently struggle to get stops, which makes it twice as hard to win games. They get the rebound. Morgan. And a good offensive board, and he gets the bucket. 20 points for him. And they're plus five on the boards after that rebound. Barton outside. Fires from deep. And another miss by Washington. I just wonder how the Wizards can remedy their defensive weaknesses from last year. Well, B.A., mindset is a big part of it. They just need to have better focus on pressuring the ball handlers and making sure shots are getting well contested. Now here's Barton. His offense has been solid, scoring around 11 and a half points a game. Morris can't hit. So far this quarter, he's been out of sync and might be pressing right now. Here's Morgan. And he jams it after taking a nice feed on the run. Well, we think of Durant as a naturally gifted scorer. Fact is, this guy understands how to get his teammates open. The Wizards have gotten just two of six field goals to go in the second. Washington calls timeout. And Kevin Durant post-Achilles surgery. No apparent decline, Grant. 
Last season, the third highest scoring average of his career. I mean, incredible. Almost 30 points a game. Think about this. Two of the four times he's led the league in scoring, he did it averaging less points per game. And his efficiency, huh, good as ever. Big round of applause for the Brooklyn Nets kid. Three minutes of action thus far on the second. Pass to Beal. Let's it fly. Second shot opportunity. It's Kuzma with the miss. Here's Irving. Soft touch off the glass. Irving's got six here in the quarter. And why go away from attacking inside if the D has no answer for you? Beal outside. Morris outside. Back to Beal. Pass to Barton. Here's the three. And another miss by Washington. They really have a commanding lead, not just in points, but in rebounds as well. And great job to establish position and square up. Second personal foul. First team foul. Offensively, it's been a struggle for him. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. A moment to hear from Ali LaForce. Thanks, B.A. Bradley Beal played for Coach Greg Popovich with the U.S. national team, and Pop said, quote, he's hard to keep up with. His balance and movement are very impressive. He stops on a dime, can pull up and shoot. That, along with his excellent footwork, are the most impressive things for me. Brian? Yeah, great breakdown there, Ali. Thank you. Beal outside. Porzingis passes to Barton. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. It goes on Kevin Durant. The people upstairs in Brooklyn have been making some very interesting moves trying to put together a championship caliber team. That free throw, good from Barton. Are those big decisions by the Nets front office difficult to deal with as players? You know, some guys can ignore the politics, but I'm sure others do have questions at the end of the day, though. These guys just want a ball. And ultimately, I think they just roll with the punches. And the Wizards making a change here. Gafford's checked in. Yes, it's good. The assist numbers certainly stand out. <laughs> They've really emphasized ball movement here today. Morris passes to Beal. Fires it. The rebound by the Nets. Claxton's got six rebounds in the game. And right now, they're plus eight in the rebounding category. That's helping them run away with this. Here's Morgan. And the foul is called. He missed it. So he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. Third team foul. At the line. Morgan. And out the line. Shooting two. That free throw misses. And the Nets making a change here. Warren's checked in. And a change for the Wizards. Avdia's checked in. And he sinks the second. Well, Grant, I know you collect art. So we've been hearing all about these NFTs that teams and players are creating. I'm going to need a little instructional here. What's it all about? Oh, B.A., first of all, memorabilia and collectibles have always been around. But yes, NFTs have taken it to a whole nother level. And yes, I do have an NFT. I don't fully understand it, so I can't explain it to you. But I know it's the next big thing, that's for sure. Curry, he's checked in for Morgan. And so it's Brooklyn just dominating the opposition as they maintain a 36-point advantage. It happens. 43. 